Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 11.3.1 has been out for a few days and I thought I'd do a follow-up. Now I've been using that version on my iPhone 8 Plus and so far for me it's been pretty stable. Now I did do a poll on Twitter and on the YouTube community page asking how it is for you. We'll take a look at that in a moment, but I wanted to talk about how it's been for me overall right now. And I have had a few stutters here and there. So if I'm scrolling something like this, maybe I open a folder or scroll up and down on a page. Occasionally it will freeze a little bit and then move on. So that part is not great, but it's there. Now I did do a geek bench on this and it's pretty much what we'd expect. You'll see here it was 4,226 and 10,260. And if we look at the history, you'll see it's pretty consistent from previous versions. So on this particular one, this was 11.2.5, 11.2.6, and we have pretty consistent numbers. They go up and down by 100, give or take. That's not too much of a de big deal usually, but it's just something to note that it seems to be consistent. We're not losing much speed or power, at least based on the benchmarks. That doesn't tell you how the experience is overall though. Now there is one bug in here that still exists and that's if you go to notifications, go down to FaceTime, go down to show banners, turn it on, turn it back off. It will crash every single time. And this was brought up to me on a previous Twitter survey and many of you noted that this happened as well. And I submitted it to feedback through Apple and they haven't fixed it yet, but for 11.4 beta one had this issue. And so we're waiting for Apple to fix that. Now there could be little things here and there. I haven't had too many issues and battery usually is pretty good for me. So let's see how it was for you. So if we go to Twitter, I sent out a survey and it's only been eight hours or so. And 454 of you have said, great. 7% said terrible and 32% said, okay, but still some bugs. Now this is a much higher percentage of great than before. So that's a good sign as far as that part goes. However, Let's take a look at what people are saying. So iPhone 8 plus slowdowns here and there, but no lag. So that's kind of that slowdown I think I'm getting as well. Smooth sailing on a seven plus. It's been pretty good so far. Stability and performance, pretty good. Battery life isn't too terribly bad. So I guess it's terribly bad most of the time for you on your seven plus. iPhone 6S battery life seems to be so much better. Let's see here, still buggy with notifications. Let's see what you were having. So notifications are overlapping and I've used this wallpaper before, I think, but thanks for sending that along. Not yet updated. No problems whatsoever. iPhone 10, no problems with SE. There's a dock problem here for some people where it auto rotates, I think is what you mean when you unlock it. Strange bug where I couldn't log into my app, app store and iTunes or make any purchases through the app store. A quick reboot helped. Seems to be better. Let's see, I didn't even receive the update for my 8 Plus. iPhone SE, performance good. No bugs, no lags. Battery life might be a little better than 11.3. So that's good. A lot of people are saying good battery life. Let's see what we have here. Not sure if it's a bug or something else, but it keeps asking you to sign into iTunes, the iTunes store. I find that happens to me once in a while. I don't know why it is. I sign in and then it works. It's doing great on my seven and iPad fifth generation. Here's a screenshot about how my battery's doing. That's pretty good. So going pretty good. You've got eh, about 20% left and that's on a seven, not a seven plus. So pretty good. And let's see what we've got at the bottom. I'm waiting for a new jailbreak. I eh, may wait a while. We're not sure at this point. Can't wait until the 11 point or iPhone 11 6.5 inch screen is released. Hopefully it is. Let's take a look at what you said on YouTube. So again, in seven hours, I guess it's been, there's been 1800 votes. 57% said great. 10% terrible. 34% said, okay, but still some bugs. So that's pretty good compared to previous betas and things like that. Let's scroll all the way down and, and come back up here. So we'll go down. And great on the 8 Plus, great iPhone 8 Plus, terrible. iPhone 7 Plus battery is terrible. Now, I had someone comment about this earlier, and I don't know if, I don't think it was you. I had someone comment that said it was horrible, it was locking up, and they're switching back to Android. I think that was a problem with the phone itself, not the, the battery. It's been great on my iPhone 10, better than 11.3 battery-wise. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Battery's terrible on the SE. 
I keep getting a pop-up that asks me to sign into my Apple account, okay? And a lot of you ask me mostly about battery, actually. So iPhone 6 lags sometimes, certain apps. I think that's the biggest issue I'm seeing. Some more bugs to be fixed. Was buggy on my iPhone 10, but recently got the iPhone 8 Plus product red, and it's been cool. I'm using an iPhone 7 Plus, and it's a beast. Didn't update, but I know that any iOS 11 version has bugs, so, well, really any software version has bugs. Nothing's perfect, but some are better than others. Not updating, jailbreak coming soon, iPhone 6 running awesome after a new battery, and I formatted it three weeks ago, still rocking since release. That's cool. I'm glad to hear that the battery made a big difference. Let's see what we have up here. iPhone 6s was buggy and slow, went back to 11.3, plus should have a jailbreak soon. If you're into that, uh, that's definitely something you want to be careful with updating. It's been great for me. Battery life is the same as 11.3 on the 6, 6S Plus. So I'm thinking from going from 11.3 to 11.3.1, uh, generally you're going to get the same battery because it's a very minor update. Usually it's going to take a couple days for your battery to stabilize. Anytime you do an update, it just seems to be that way. Apple has to re-index the operating system, do some things in the background, and that's just the way it is. Those lags and slowdowns seem to be prevalent throughout many people that have this, and that just seems to be the way it is, unfortunately. So there's not much more to say other than that, but it seems like it's pretty solid as compared to 11.3 anyway. And if you're still wondering if you should install it, I think it's pretty safe, but don't say battery's terrible until you've used it for a few days and you'll be back to the same or better, hopefully. But if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll leave it in the description below, as I always do. And if you have any other questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.